and the stakeholders in the creative industry have advised the federal government to recognize the industry's potential in mitigating brain drain. They gave the urge during the screening of a documentary, Brain Drain, by Collins Akpapunam in Lagos. Correspondent Uyime Elijah reports. The documentary sheds light on the experiences of Nigerian Americans who migrated from the country after completing their higher education. Lucy Newman is the CEO of Africa Private Sector Summit. She advised the government to prioritize private sector investment to combat brain drain in the country. We have two instruments. The first one is the private sector benefit, which says that most of the developed economies, the OECD countries that are taking most of the youth away, have invested in the private sector, and the private sector are thriving. But in Africa, the private sector is strangulating under so many kinds of difficulties, which the Charter now pulled out, 24 of them, which are already been signed by the works and after protocols, but not properly implemented. The second instrument is the African Education and Trust Fund, such that the educational institutions in Africa should have the curriculum that is convenient and productive, and also giving the skills to the technical and vocational skills for conversion of these things and dignity in labor. Ngozi Onambala is the chairwoman of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Creative and Entertainment Sector. She urged the federal government to prioritize and elevate the creative industry, noting that it has the potentials to become the driving force behind the economy. With the creatives, I think that um, it has, it's been globally sub power, the new oil. And it certainly is because um, the future is bright. The future is bright for entertainment, the future is bright for our creatives. I mean, film, we're all here now. The film industry is bursting, our music industry is bursting. As a former head of marketing for MTV, MTV um, based in Nigeria, when I first came, there was no video industry. But look at the videos now. We're competing on a world level. We're, we're winning games now. So all we're saying is we need to upscale, upscale the industry because it's very informal. And in order for business to invest in the industry, we need to understand the workings of the industry. So Nigerians abroad might be the biggest unexplored development opportunity of Nigeria. And I think it's up to us, those in the development sector, those in the government, those in private business, to maybe join efforts and find ways how we can build bridges between those opportunities. In all, the government was also advised to allocate more resources towards education and areas that enhance social mobility, motivate citizens to stay in the country and positively contribute to their communities. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.